Apple has entirely overhauled the look and feel of the home screen with iOS 18. Let me tell you everything about it. To start, the rumors are true. You no longer need to put your icons in a cascading grid. Instead, you can place them nearly anywhere on the screen. They still jump to an underlying grid system because misaligned icons just wouldn't look good, but they can go anywhere, which makes it great to highlight your wallpaper. You can even move groups of them together. That's going to make designing a home screen so much easier. And you can have multiple home screens, so you can have different layouts on each one. Another change lets you quickly resize widgets. If a widget is available in multiple sizes, a handle will appear in the corner, similar to on Vision Pro, and you can just drag it to make it bigger or smaller. When you want to tweak your home screen, you have a new option to change how all the icons look. A new tray will appear from the bottom, where you can switch to a new dark icon set. Apple has dark versions for all of their stock icons, and developers can update theirs to include these as well. If you'd like, you could also tint the icons. This works with both light and dark versions. This will be done automatically to match your wallpaper, but you do have free range to use sliders and pick the color for yourself. There's even an eyedropper tool to match a color from the background. While you're editing, you can toggle dark mode on or off, which makes it even easier to see how your changes look. Finally, Apple now has a new larger icon size available. When they're larger, all the icons increase in size and it gets rid of the titles below them. I'd love if they let you keep these small icons without the titles though. The no names look so much cleaner and I prefer those small icons. Which icon style do you prefer? Sound off down below in the comments. Hey, real quick, do you want to experience twice as fast load times in Safari on your iPhone, iPad, and Mac? Then download Magic Lasso Adblock, the ad blocker designed for you. It's easy to set up, blocks all YouTube ads, and doubles the speed at which Safari can load. Thank you to Magic Lasso Adblock for sponsoring today's video. Magic Lasso is a fast, efficient, and high performance ad blocker. With over 5,000 five star reviews, it's one of the highest rated Safari ad blockers for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Magic Lasso blocks all intrusive ads trackers and annoyances in Safari and lets you see the difference that ad blocking makes. And unlike some other ad blockers, Magic Lasso respects your privacy and doesn't accept payment from advertisers. The app also blocks over 10 types of YouTube ads, including all video ads and pop-up banner ads. So join over 300,000 users and download Magic Lasso ad block from the App Store or via magiclasso.co. As a special offer for Apple Insider viewers, use the link below to receive one month's free access to all of the app's features. Thanks again to Magic Lasso Adblock for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. When you hold down on an app icon, you'll usually see a list of quick actions. With iOS 18, Apple adds to this list. If the app has a widget available, you can instantly replace it with a widget. You can also now lock any app behind a face ID from that menu. Photos, measure, weather, anything. When this happens, it also limits things like notification previews and spotlight search, just so anything isn't surfaced that you don't want to inadvertently show. If you want to be extra private, any app can also be hidden. You can hide apps, which will remove them from your home screen and app library, and will only show them in a special hidden folder within app library. Of course, that's locked behind Face ID too. Lastly, I wanna jump back to the lock screen. A lot of the lock screen has remained unchanged, but there's one major change I'm super excited about. Apple now lets you change the controls that appear at the bottom of your lock screen. You're no longer tied to the flashlight in the stock camera app. You can assign basically anything from control center to both of these spots. Launch the calculator, start tap to cache, toggle dark mode, or maybe Shazam a song. There are so many options. And crucially, because these controls can be created by developers, you could also use these to launch third-party apps and actions. You could launch Moments Pro Camera or Halide directly from the lock screen. This is amazing. Thank you, Apple. 
There's so much more to talk about in iOS 18 from the features in iMessage to Apple intelligence. So be sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Apple news.